Hey, we back. I'm here on my anime list today, uh, where we're going to be talking about some CSS. CSS uh, being a programming language, except not really, haha, <laughs> trolled. Um, but basically it's for uh, styling uh, your list. That's what we're going to be talking about today. If you go on your profile, such as this, and you click on one of these buttons here to see your anime list, uh, what you'll probably get is something that looks a bit like this. You get the blue and the white color scheme, However, you might have been looking around some of your friends lists and seen something that looks a bit like this, or a bit like this, or a bit like this. And as you can see, these are a fair bit fancier. Uh, they have the same kind of theme, you've got all these buttons up here, all the animes down here, but uh, well, these have got pictures, it's got animations, it's got all these uh, customizable stuff at the top with all the animes that you like. Um, so this person here has no game in their life, they've got some sword art online, and you might wonder how to make something like this. Well, if you go into your profile settings here, you can see list style design, and we get a couple of options. We have uh, classic and modern, firstly. Modern is probably what you start on. You can see the default uh, blue and white one down here, and then the, you can have like a dark mode, you might pick red, something like that. There's a couple of community ones here, which actually weren't here last time I checked, so that's cool. Um, but then we also have classic. What you're really gonna be wanting is advanced CSS list design, uh, where you can choose a style and then we get all of our magical code here. You can see my code that I've added, uh, which is not too fancy uh, and makes my list look like this. You may notice this looks a little bit different to this though. So where do you get the code? Well, the first thing that you'll probably try doing is Googling it, in which case you'll get a search result like this, probably on the My Anime List forums. In fact, you might come across this one. This is the top search result for me. If we scroll down a bit, we get tutorials on how to install a list and stuff like that. Uh, and trust me, it's simple. We even have that one that I showed before. This is the one that everyone uses, uh, this one right here. All you need to do is click on one of these images that you like, uh, find the original forum post, and find the source code. Uh, and once you've got that source code, you can copy and paste it into your advanced CSS file, change any uh, bits that you want to change, for example, the pictures and stuff like that, uh, resizing stuff, removing pictures, all the rest of it. Most of these fancy styles will have a bunch of customizable options, so you can make your list different. So while these lists do look similar, they clearly are different and they have been customized by the people that are using them with whatever pictures they fancy using. Now this is good and all, but you may notice that my list doesn't look quite like that. Uh, and this is because, of course, you can make your own custom CSS for it, write your own code. Um, and that's basically what we're going to be going over today. Um, if you do want more information about downloading these pre-made ones, I would suggest just having a look at these forum posts and reading the text, because it's all very self-explanatory and they are very good. It is pretty cool. Uh, but what you end up finding is that all these people actually have very similar list layout and personally I think it's much cooler if you have a proper custom one which you have made yourself it's actually unique maybe it's not made super well maybe the text doesn't align properly I'll be starting by creating a new list style design which after pressing that button has appeared here so we have my original one here which is like 49 that 490,000 and then we've got 540,000 here uh, with the style ID. If I open this up, I will get a fresh new page. Once you've finished editing it, you can press update CSS and we'll get this up here. Don't forget to change your list style to this styles ID here. So we can just click on that link and it will say anime list style and manga list style. So you can see I currently have mine hooked up to 490,000 or so and I can change that here. We can press submit. I mean, I've just done anime here. Uh, you can change your manga one as well. And then if we go onto here and we refresh, you'll notice that the, it looks pretty garbage, doesn't it? Uh, that's because it has no CSS at all. Uh, and this is what it's going to look like with no CSS at all. Obviously, you don't want it looking like this. So the first thing we're going to have to do is change some stuff. So you're going to want to start by opening up Inspect Element. Um, here we can hover over particular items to make them highlight in blue, as you can see. And the importance of doing this is here we can see what they're called. We can also see down the bottom here what attributes these uh, 
little boxes already have. So for example, we can have root here, which has got a bunch of different colors and stuff that we could change. And we can even change this in here if we wanted. We could click on this and make it blue. Uh, now, I'm not sure what's that actually going to change because I don't know what this one is here. Uh, but if we find something that we do know, such as the HTML as a whole here, we can try going into our CSS file and adding something in the same kind of format. So we've got HTML, we've got these curly brackets, and I've added a background with this URL, which points to an Imga image, which I've previously uploaded. We're going to hit update CSS. And then after we reload the page, you'll notice that we have ourselves a background. However, it looks a little scuffed. Firstly, it keeps repeating every time we scroll down. And secondly, we can't even see the little now that's meant to be over on the right. I have here a couple of properties to fix this. So if we look at the version that I already have here, there's a no repeat, there is a center, and there is a fixed, which means it doesn't move. If we just copy paste these and pop them on the end of that line there and hit update CSS again, we can then reload the page and when you look at that, it looks a lot better. We've got the now here. Uh, when we scroll down, it's not moving, which is fantastic. And it certainly does look centered. Lastly, you can see this other line here, background size cover, uh, which just means it's going to, you know, cover the size of the background because at the moment it's been cropped off a little bit. So I'll just copy that extra line, keep the semicolons there as well. Uh, we'll hit update CSS, we'll refresh the page, and there we go. Doesn't that look a lot nicer? Now, if you're not sure about all of these particular things and where to add them, that is what you're going to need to look up because I'm not just going to make a CSS tutorial here, uh, but most of it is pretty self-explanatory. Center puts it in the center fixed makes it fixed etc etc these things you can find quite easily on google you may notice however after having done this it is pretty difficult to read all the text because the background that i've chosen is pretty dark and the text is also pretty dark let's try doing something about that shall we so let's open up inspect element once again and we'll try and change the table these are all a bunch of little tables each row is a table and so what we can do we can change table as a whole once again i'm going to come in with some pre-prepared css that i've written before uh, but you can write whatever you like here um, and let's just quickly go through what all of this means once again we're making the table fixed we're setting the max width to be 60 because currently it spans across the entire page and i'd like it to be in the middle and uh, we put some padding on it which just means that it's got a bit of padding that one's a bit hard to explain you might need to check that one uh, we're giving it a different background color which is the important bit this might make the text a little more readable uh, then we have we're putting the text in the center and we're giving it a margin on the left and the right. After refreshing the page, you can see we've got our background color. It's all in the center now. The text is not any more readable though, because while it is now separate to the background picture itself, the text is still pretty dark. Let's try changing the color of the text. So what actually is this text? Let's put inspect element on this one and we'll find these are all TDs, class TD2 in fact. They have a display table cell and vertical align inherit. I don't care what any of that means. It's not enough. We need to add some more stuff in here. So let's try adding some stuff for TDs. As I'm sure you can guess, I have some code ready for you here. TD, we set the color to white so that it's readable, uh, turning off text decoration and also changing the font here, just because why not, I suppose. We'll hit update CSS. We'll go and refresh the page and now suddenly we know what we're actually looking at. All of that text there is now white instead of black, although the links are still pretty dark. If we inspect element on one of these links, we'll see that it is a span and it is inside a href, a href specifically, href being a link, uh, href, ref short for reference, um, and there we go, we have the reference there as well. Uh, and if we change the style of A, then that'll change the style of the text inside of it. So let's once again go and find myself my pre-prepared code for A and pop that at the bottom. Once again, we're setting color to white, the text decoration to none, and setting the font is exactly the same as the TD. And if we go in here and refresh the page, you will now see that we can, we can see all of the text.
You can see the links are still clickable because my mouse changes when I hover over them. They're actually not centered at the moment because I didn't put centered in there. That's in a, a later bit of code on my list. Uh, I'm not going to go over me making the entire list here, but you can see what I'm getting at. And you can add whatever you like into here just by finding something you want to edit, right clicking and inspecting it, and then uh, checking out its attributes at the moment. So we have the A's here. As we added, it has color, it has text decoration, and it it has font family all listed down here and we can we can toggle them on and off we can see what difference they make we can try and change stuff in here to test what we want it to look like and then once we've figured out what we want it to look like we can go into the file and edit it however we like what we end up with is a big file like this which has a bunch of stuff in it like I said, I'm not going to go over everything in my list here. Um, if you do want um, my particular CSS that I've used, uh, I don't know, message me on Discord and I'll probably give it to you. Uh, worth noting that I did not make all of this. I've taken some of it from ideas off the internet. So I will shout out to this post here uh, that I got my little hover cards from because I particularly like these. But the difference is I've taken one feature from a form or maybe even more than one. To be fair, I do think it's just one um, and then made the list myself on top of it rather than copying and pasting an entire list and only changing the images. I just think it's good to know how your list has been constructed. And even if you do want to take something like this as a base, I would highly recommend you go into the source code afterwards and change up what you want. Because while yes, you can just go and change the images and then have done with it, you can actually change all of the CSS as much as you want it and make your list look a little different from these so that it's not immediately recognizable that you're using the same uh, pre-made uh, CSS as everyone else on the website. <laughs> Um, but CSS is also just pretty helpful to know generally. Um, I wouldn't say you need to be good at CSS or anything like that. It's a nightmare to be perfectly honest. Uh, but just being able to uh, go in and, and change a couple of things around if you want is quite nice. Um, and you can customize your list uh, on Mal as much as you like, which is also just fun. Uh, so yeah, there you go. I feel like I've explained all of this pretty poorly, so if you do have questions, feel free uh, to let me know and I can give a go at answering any of them. Hopefully this video was at least enough to get you started with making some CSS for your My Anime list. Um, I really would love to see some custom lists out there because while I have pulled up a couple of people that are using uh, these pre-made ones, actually most people do just use the default uh, blue and white and it's always nice to see what people do with their lists if they do go and do it properly custom. Um, it's really cool to see what people do with it um, because you can really just make it look however you like. Um, there is complete customizability uh, within my anime list and I think it's really cool. Um, so if you want to send me your my anime list that you have customized as well, I'd be really happy to see some of those. That'd be pretty cool. Um, and anyway, for now, I think I'll be ending this video here. Bye!